What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody had a wonderful 4th of July break and as of now we are a little bit over the halfway point for season 4 in Warzone and with that I want to talk to you guys about potential future content we definitely are going to be seeing at some point during next season which is set to launch around early August and some of this stuff includes a new sniper, weapon inspects, Warzone map changes, so much more and even the possible reveal of Call of Duty 2020. Now, Season 5 should begin around August the 4th, according to the Battle Pass expiration timer. However, there may be some kind of a cool down time period in between the end of Season 4 and the beginning of Season 5, just to kind of build up more hype around this next season, because it could potentially be the biggest season that Warzone slash Modern Warfare has to offer. So, my guess would maybe be either August the 5th or August the 6th. And one of those new additions to the game that we're going to be seeing is another new sniper rifle called the R700, the Red Remington 700 and this information is coming from data miner BK tour over on Twitter and he posted the image with um, the data files and it, it's titled as a Romeo 700 which obviously could be the R 700 and then he posted another image of the intervention which is absolutely crazy to think about that one of the most iconic weapons in Call of Duty history is gonna be making its return to modern warfare so I expect that to be coming along with maybe another weapon as the main attraction for the new gun to use in the next season now some of the new map changes we're going to be seeing this information comes from VGC over on their website I'm gonna have a link to the full article down below in the description guys but according to their sources there's gonna be a nuke set off on Verdance that's gonna trigger the new map changes and one of those new additions is an interior opening for stadium that players can use to drop inside and even Infinity Ward showcased a little teaser of this um, in their patch notes for the midpoint season 4 update here we can see these cables that could possibly be used as an elevator system and we also have a mini opening system for the windows that players could possibly look out through and snipe from a far distance and more than likely these stadium doors can be opened up for players to loot inside and another new addition happens to be one that I was able to discuss and be the first to report about um, and it was the mysterious train tracks that were added onto the warzone map and it circles pretty much the entire main interior parts of the warzone map such as you know the town and uh, kind of those uh, little towns that are on the outskirts of the uh, Warzone map. But it doesn't go really far past the uh, dam. It, it goes a little bit towards there. But um, I'm going to link a video of me driving around those entire train tracks. You guys want to see the entire path of the uh, train. So like I said, I was the first to report about that, I believe. And yeah, that train is going to be something similar to Apex Legends. Where it has really, really good loot items. And again, you can ride that train and have it take you to multiple locations and stops around the map. I also assume that the dam is going to have some sort of a change up there. Maybe the nuke is going to strike that part first and that's going to set off a series of chain reactions all throughout the Warzone map. And this huge mega in-game event easter egg could possibly tie into the reveal for Call of Duty 2020 which is rumored to be Black Ops Cold War. I talked a bit more about this as well in another video which I'm going to link down below. But one of those new additions that will reveal the next Call of Duty game is Sergeant Frank Woods. He's going to be an operator at some point in Warzone and he even has the voice lines created inside the game's files. It's all very very interesting for sure so definitely recommend checking out a video I did about that. So maybe at some point in season 5 we could see something similar to how Captain Price was a character to use in Blackout if you pre-order Modern Warfare. Well Woods could be something similar as a little pre-order bonus if you purchase Black Ops Cold War. I really just think they're going to be using the map revamp as some sort of a guiding factor to reveal Call of Duty 2020. Warzone and the Black Ops universe are apparently supposed to be connected in some way but as for how Infinity Ward and Treyarch are going to be working with that I absolutely have no idea whatsoever but really it's just so mind-blowing and crazy to even think about how they could stitch together the two universes like this is really really freaking huge guys and I, I really don't see a lot of people taking this like whoa like this is this is pretty damn crazy because it, it truly is but at the same time it's very very confusing so like I said earlier season 
Season 5 is probably going to be the most important season of the Warzone universe. But we are still a ways away from the Call of Duty 2020 reveal, but for sure Infinity Ward is building up to that. But now another new weapon that was recently found in the files is the AN-94, which is an assault rifle. So that could be one of the new weapons coming to Season 5, along with footage of weapon inspects for the guns in Modern Warfare, which is something fans have wanted for quite some time now since the start of Modern Warfare. But now weapon inspects is on the way and we should see it come in Season 5. I'm going to leave a link to the animations down below in the description. Not much is still known about these inspects, such as whether or not there's going to be a unique inspect that you could, you know, maybe buy in a bundle for a weapon, or if you have to unlock and equip them. Again, it's still pretty much up in the air, um, but yeah, this was recently discovered in the files, like this was not there before, and we should see this coming in Season 5. So guys, as of now, that is everything we know about Season 5. I just wanted to make a quick little video to wrap up everything. I kind of wanted to shorten it, shorten it down as much as possible because there is quite a bit of of information um but just kind of make like a little video that has a list of everything here it is so hope you guys did enjoy the video if you don't forget to leave a like and also comment down below your thoughts guys thanks for watching love y'all so much have a great rest of the day till next time i'll see you later